We're live. We're live. We're moving all collections, we're moving all the negative, nasty, erroneous items. We're moving these unverified, obsolete, outdated, incorrect accounts from your reports. All right. So let me know if you can hear me okay. I got a new mic. I was working on this new microphone. Hey, Rondell's opinion, white Lamborghini. Shalom, lovely 144 says shalom. Hey, everybody. Let me know. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Hi. I got a new mic on. I don't know if you can see it here. Yes, can hear you. Okay, great. So I'm working on this new mic. Sorry, I was a little bit late. Yo, hey, hi, how are you? Loud and clear, good. Now, is this microphone better than the last microphone? Okay. Just came from the post office, dropped off my collection validation letters. Excellent. Is it possible to remove evictions? Yes, it is. True Gemini, yes, it is. Sounds the same. Mike sounds the same. Sounds the same. Sounds the same. Okay, so that's fine. That sounds good. Sounds good. It's a good mic. It's close. All right. Best microphone. Fantastic microphone. Phenomenal microphone, okay. Uh, Pizuko28, typically once the collection item is off, once the negative nasty erroneous item is off, it's off of there, okay? They've gotta have all sorts of different reasons for why they would want to put that back on there and they have to substantiate that and send you a report on that five five, five days. Within five days of doing that, if not, you can send the reinsertion letter. It's very uh, uncommon that they reinsert things, but if that were to happen, you could send that. Now, I've got a great write-in here. Want to let y'all know, okay? One of the subscribe tribe members, all right? Also, this individual here says, my score went from 450 to 721. Thanks to you. I appreciate it. Thanks for letting me know. All right. All right. How do you get rid of how do you get rid of paid off utility bills? All right. So Ken, you know, perhaps you, you didn't see the videos or whatnot, and you went ahead and paid something. That's okay. Now, what do you do, right? What do you do now? That's what you're thinking. Okay, what, what do we do now? Well, now that it's paid, you can dispute this negative, nasty, erroneous, unverified utility bill collection, okay? Now, when it's paid, in your situation, doesn't have to be right, but in your situation, when you dispute that, the utility company, the collector, whomever, may not want to spend the time to quote unquote verify. Right to sit there to look to get the thumb something in, be like, oh yeah, you have and ke- have to keep doing that because they're not going to gain anything any further. Okay, they've already been paid. Right, uh, Matthew. Hey, Brandon, and all flying high today. Eight deletions from Equifax. Matthew said, Matthew, this is what I got the email from Matthew. Say one of the subscribe tribe members. He was excited. He was like, hey, I'm looking forward to seeing you go live on YouTube today. Have a great day. He says in this email, but he went on to write this email and let me know. Hey, he didn't get. He got non-response from Equifax, okay? This gentleman sends his non-response letter. He goes, checks the mail today, today, now, because credit repair starts now. And uh, eight out of the nine items Matthew disputed were deleted. Eight of the nine. Eight deletions, okay? So when they're trying to play games, when they're trying to maybe not respond or say it's quote, unquote, verified or whatever. We've got the follow-up letters, and this individual is living proof. Matthew here on the live today, Matthew Varnum. Yeah, that's his uh, handle, Varnum. Sorry, Varnum. It's hard to see that. Um, has come. Let us all know that you can get to the other side. You can get this. You can do well. Now Matthew's asking, hey, about Experian, TransUnion, what do I do here? They're trying to play games. They're trying to say it's quote unquote verified or updated or whatever in the first round. So he sent the first round of letters, got no response from Experian, sent the non-response letters with Experian, got eight out of nine deletions.
but the other bureaus will want to play games. Hey, you send that letter, follow-up letter, how could you possibly have verified this stuff, right? And you can show the deletions from the other bureau. That's what Matthew was um, asking. That's what I would suggest as well. And you can get these negative, nasty, erroneous collections off of there. Get all these collections out of there. Eight out of nine so far from Matthew. Congratulations. And you could be next, okay? 609creditrepair.com. We can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. Please, if you're watching this now, please give a thumbs up. You know, even if you're watching the replay, that would be great. If you give a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Helps me keep doing what I'm doing. All right. And it's great to be here on a weekend to be of service. I appreciate it. Now, got some questions here. I'm also going to put in my email address as I usually do. I want to give you uh, access to my email and you can email me because as you notice, I got to talking about things and getting going. I might miss a question or two that pop up here in the live chat. Sometimes live chat is hard to see everything, but please put your questions here in the live chat. I will answer your questions now. It's quite a pair start win. It starts now and I can answer your questions in the email and even make videos for us all here on this uh, channel. So hit the subscribe, try button, the bell for notifications because when I get a question, I can make videos and we can all learn together. Okay. I was, uh, this is great. I was able to get bankruptcy off of Equifax, but TransUnion experience and trying to play games, what I do. Show them that the, the <clears throat> excuse me, show that the bankruptcy was removed from the other bureau. Also check your LexisNexis report. Get the uh, bankruptcy out of LexisNexis. As you can see, it is possible to get bankruptcies removed. You're doing really well. Bankruptcy's already been removed off of Equifax. Now you're looking at TransUnion Experian. This is fantastic, okay? You are getting one of the most derogatory and negative items out there off of there, bankruptcy, okay? Now, everybody's uh, scores are different. Everybody's kind of road is different in their credit repair. But bankruptcies, on average, and again, yours could be different, everyone's could be different, but could cost you 100 points. So perhaps you might gain 100 points if your bankruptcy is removed, okay? And that's fantastic. Also, with the bankruptcy, it helps with getting some of those higher uh, credit cards, those cashback cards, those miles cards, those business credit cards, these types of uh, trade lines that you probably want to get. When you have good credit, and they see a bankruptcy on there, they still feel like, well, maybe it's not strong enough. Maybe it's not excellent. You wanna have that excellent credit, right? Um, everything else could be positive. You're up, you know, 650, 680, maybe even close to 700s or in the 700s, and you have that bankruptcy from a little while ago that's gonna potentially hold you back from getting those really good positive trade lines. And even in some cases, if your bankruptcy is uh, newer, right, uh, it could keep you from getting a home loan. Usually after two years, they stop looking at the bankruptcy for the home loan as a, a disqualifier, but it will affect your credit score, which will affect your interest rate for your home loans, for your trade lines, for those types of things. So you want to get that bankruptcy out of there like this individual is doing. Already got it out of one uh, credit report. You can follow up with the others, show them the bankruptcy is removed, get it out of LexisNexis as well, doing the same method, sending the 609 dispute letters, sending them the proof that the uh, negative nasty erroneous unverified bankruptcy was out of there. I'm one of the bureaus. Get this to the other side. This is stuff that you can do, 609creditpair.com, or we can do this for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. All right? Jazz, Princess Jasmine says she has some really awesome news. Excellent. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and again, I put my email in here because sometimes I answer a question, then I have to go back and kind of look at the, the questions. Um, so I want to make sure that I get everybody's questions and information out there, whether it be sending a response in the email or uh, making videos uh, later. What about judgments? All right, what about judgments? So you can look at judgments in the public records of LexisNexis as well as the three bureaus. When you're looking at this LexisNexis report, they typically will have judgments, including bankruptcies, right? Including public records, including judgments. So you can dispute with LexisNexis, you can dispute with the three bureaus. LexisNexis tends to be a house or a furniture of this information to the big three, okay? So as LexisNexis drops this information, the other three bureaus tend to follow suit as you dispute.
Good morning, subscribe tribe. Javier says, we got this. That's right. No response and no verification. All right. Black Hippie said, now this is what's great about Matthew coming on today and set, talking about how Experian did not respond. Perhaps you were uh, on the live and you heard that, um, or perhaps you didn't. Um, but um, they sent the non-response letter, Matthew sent the non-response letter, and they deleted eight out of nine of those negative nasty erroneous items, all right? So you can follow up with that non-response letter. This is great. So TransUnion is fully cleaned up. This individual says Starberry9911. Uh, Starberry says TransUnion fully cleaned up, but uh, the other two still have some collections there. What do I do? So you can send your next round of disputes. And again, you can show TransUnion how TransUnion was able to delete this stuff. When you get things in the mail, and this is why I advocate for disputing through the mail. Don't be disputing online, right? Because you're going to get an updated report, and it'll say deleted, deleted, deleted. It'll have the deletions on there. And you'll be able to show that and send a copy to the other bureaus and say, hey, look, deleted. How are you, quote, unquote, verifying? How is it possible? Show me how. Tell me how. What is this? What is that? Typically, <clears throat> they're not able to show you anything, right? They just kind of pencil whip it, say, send your report. Oh, updated, verified, or deleted, right? These deletions what you want to get. People are doing that. But if they want to play games and they want to try to violate your rights, potentially violate your rights, you can utilize all of these letters, the CFPB, all of these things to make sure that they have to do what they're supposed to do under the Fair Credit Reporting Act and Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, okay? True Gemini, is there a way to remove um, these old, negative, unverified, closed bank accounts? So those might be in check systems or early warnings, which we have special letters for. Those are different bureaus, different uh, letters. So yes, it is possible to dispute that. Get yourself out of check systems or early warnings. Now, what I would say is double check, make sure that they're actually on those reports, right? So pull those reports and take a look. See if this is why you might have a situation getting a new checking account or bank account or business checking account or something like that, okay? Sarah says, do you staple your letters together? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, letters are stapled together, sometimes a little bit more challenging, right? So there's some things, some little tips and tricks and secrets, right? Stapling the letters together, um, potentially using highlighters, slanting um, the text, all of these things can make it a little bit more challenging. However, the more important thing is the Fair Credit Reporting Act, Fair Debt Collection Practice Act, utilizing your rights, utilizing what has been set up for you, right? These other little tips and tricks might be helpful, might be a little bit more challenging for them. They can't scan, they have a tough time or whatnot, or sure, sure, sure. But the meat and potatoes, the bulk of it, the real true stuff, 609creditrepair.com, right? The letters that are built out for you, the video series that's built out for you, the things that we've gone over here on this channel. And that's why you want to hit that subscribe, try button, and that bell for notifications, all right? How do I build my credit? I can't qualify for new accounts. So this is a great question. When one that I was confused about as well when I was younger, right? So I had bad credit. I'm like, well, I can't get approved for credit. I didn't understand credit repair. I didn't understand how to dispute these negative nasty erroneous items. I didn't know how to get credit when I had bad credit, right? So first and foremost, if you're looking to build credit, 
prior to you know going through the dispute process, what you can look at is stuff like self.inc. Okay, so self lender. I'll put this here. Okay, secured loan. Okay, a lot of people have had really good results with that. Okay, also you want to get approved for something like my jewelers club card, right? The store card, 5K revolving trade line in your name, primary trade line, and you can start building credit, okay? New Coast Direct is another one of these store cards, 5K trade line, $5,000 trade line, nice big revolving credit card, okay? Store card, it's okay. So you start out unsecured, yeah? Now, this individual said self ink, self lender, self jumped me up quickly, okay? So that's how you start building. Now, you also want to dispute these negative, nasty, erroneous, unverified collections and charge-offs and, and whatever else you have on there, evictions and judgment, whatever it is, bankruptcies. We're talking about people getting to the other side and getting these negative items off of there because that's going to help your score as well, all right? So now you're building, you're getting these negative, nasty, erroneous items off, and it can really change your life. I'm telling you, now thinking about how I lived, again, because it was a little while ago, but when I was living with bad credit, it was a pain in the ass, right? excuse my language, but it sucked because I couldn't get, you know, utilities turned on. I couldn't get um, a, a lease in, in for an apartment without paying more for a deposit or needing co sign or something like that when I was younger, when I had bad credit, right? Getting to the other side, haven't had the knee surges, the hip surges, wasn't able to, you know, had some setbacks, right? Had this bad credit. Learning credit pair, being able to rebuild my credit, Change my life, right? Can get utilities turned down, um, can pay a normal deposit for an apartment, can uh, travel the world on the travel miles, right? The free travel miles, the free credit card travel miles. So I'm getting something, pardon me, I'm getting something back for my, uh, utilizing my credit. Change my life, I have to see places, right? Princess Jasmine said, thank you very much for the super chat. I received my update credit report from Experian yesterday, six of 10 items were deleted. Thank you. You're very welcome. Nice work, Princess Jasmine. Very cool. I appreciate you letting the tribe know. And thank you very much for the super chat. Updated credit report from Experian yesterday. Yesterday, six out of 10 items were deleted. Okay. And this is fresh, new stuff. This is new, fresh content. People ask, hey, you know, I want to know. Can this 2020, during the pandemic, can I repair my credit? Yes, right? People asking, hey, you know, what's going on? This is, you know, global pandemic, 2020, there's a lot going on, coronavirus, COVID-19. Can I get to the other side? Can I repair my credit? Can I get negative, nasty, erroneous items off the credit bureaus right now? Yes. Matthew came on here, said he got eight out of nine deletions. Princess Jasmine said she's gotten six out of 10 deletions so far, right? People are getting to the other side. People are moving to the other side. Imagine getting six, eight, 10, 15, right? Like me, I had 15 negative items on three bureaus. Off of your credit reports, what is that gonna do for you? What is that gonna do for your life? That's going to change your life, I'm telling you. You get to the other side of this, okay? Now, again, I apologize, I get to talking. I get to roll in and put my email address in here Again, you can email me with your questions. I'd like to email back, get you your responses, get you to the other side. I also like to make videos for us from these questions. So continue. Please feel free to ask questions. And I'm going to go back here through and look at some of these other questions as well, okay? Uh, Black Happy says, went from 540 to 732. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming here and let me know your uh, results. 540 to 732. I mean, this is fantastic. Think about it. Where are you right now? Perhaps you're watching this. You're thinking, oh man, what am I going to do? I'm at a 540. I'm at a 590, right? I think I was about 595 is when I started. You can't really do a ton with that. But at 732, you could do a lot with that, okay? You could potentially finance a home, car, business credit. Your whole financial life can open up, right? And of course, I can give any financial advice, but your whole life with credit can open up, right? Now you can build wealth.
GT, appreciate it, GTE. Brian, you're really helping the consumer give these bureaus a run for their money. At the same time, empowering everybody and motivating them. Uh, you are definitely, oh, okay. You are definitely a blessing to everyone. Respect. Sorry. I, uh, it was like a little thing there. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Car Campbell says, hi, Brandon. Thanks for your wealth of knowledge. Um, sending out the final round for her on Monday. Her score has already gone up over 100 points, nearly 100 points, nearly 100 points. So almost finished up with her credit repair, already gotten her credit score up 100 points, okay? If you're at 590, you could be at 690, right? If you're at 600, you could be at 700, 100 points, right? Some people start at 540 like Black Hippie, get to 732. You can do this. Please give this a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe chat button. Hit the bell for notifications. 609creditrepair.com or we can do the work for the awesome life group.com. You are going to get to the other side. It's possible you could be next, okay? Nice. After the first round, after the first month, one month, 30 days, FICO score increased 37 points. It's definitely worth the money. A few charge-offs were removed, a few couple few charge-offs were removed in that first round. In the first 30 days, a few charge-offs were removed. After my first round, I have FICO score increased 37 points, definitely worth the money. A few charge-offs removed. We'll send the next round of letters. That's what we're talking about. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? 609creditrepair.com. We can do the work for theawesomelifegroup.com. This is life-changing, powerful information. Jump on the subscribe tribe as well, the subscribe tribe.com. It's in here. For the days and times of when I go live. All right, let's see. I'm trying to get this quick. Okay, go back and make sure I see people's questions and comments. Jacqueline says, I've done really well with the do it yourself letters, but I want to hire the Awesome Life group for the rest. And she's gotten busy. Um, I'm going to do that. You can jump on the www.theawesomelifegroup.com. All right. Let me type this up. Cool. Equifax said they couldn't find my credit file. Equifax sent a letter stating they couldn't locate my credit file. Yep. Stall tactic, yes, we've seen this. This is their kind of newer stall tactic. Nope, they have a credit file because you know you've seen it, Joshua. Uh, pull, you can pull your own credit report, right? Annual credit report. They're giving out free credit reports now. Annualcreditreport.com used to only be able to get one credit report every 12 months, but now you can get one report every seven months. Days. That's right. During the global pandemic, they're giving it out weekly here. Uh, I put the link in there for you. It says, during these times of COVID-19, accessing your credit is important. That's why Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion are now offering free, free weekly online reports through April 2021. All right. So uh, please take advantage of that as you need to, right, as, as per whenever you might need to. And uh, you can get that Equifax report and show them that you have a report. You can send them the stall tactic letter. You can dispute with them, and they're going to have to send you back a response in 30 days from your disputes, okay? If they're trying to play games, say, oh, we can't, we can't find a file. Clearly, you know there's a file because you're working on your credit. You know you're getting these negative, nasty, erroneous items out of there, okay? Ashley Marie Coleman, thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. All right. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I just saw your live feed, Brandon. What did I miss? Um, Excalibur asks. We were talking about a few different things on here, how to get these negative, nasty, erroneous items off of there, how people are getting to the other side, all this good stuff. Feel free to watch the replay and also jump on the subscribetrap.com for the dates and times when I go live. I send out a notification and um, that'll help you if you want to uh, jump on these live streams in the future. All right. Uh, Princess Jasmine, if you have a collection, um, you could dispute that. You know, that seems pretty reasonable to be able to get that negative nasty erroneous item out of there. Already, if you got six out of 10 deletions, you can dispute these negative uh, items. I went from 444 to 570. Very cool. Um, 444 is, is pretty low, pretty, you know, you know, it's, it's, that's not, it's not, you know, 444 is, yeah, it's pretty rough. Um, we got up to 570. It may take a little, you know, time because you're at 444, okay? But since you're so low there and you get negative items off of there, you also want to uh, build as well, you know? Uh, continue to get these revolving accounts. The the um, credit bureaus love revolving accounts. The My Jewelers Club card, the new Coast Direct. As you build further, you'll be able to get some of your own unsecured cards like Capital One Platinum, uh, some of these starter builder uh, unsecured cards. Thank you very much for the super chat. Staying focused. I appreciate it. I'm looking to see if you had a question. Uh, it didn't pop up in the super chat, but it might be here in the regular live chat. So I'll look through. Don't see anything. So if you do have a question, feel free, feel free. Trey says, appreciate your help, Brennan. Got two items removed and deleted thus far. All right. Um, improved my score by 40 points. 798 at the moment. Wow. Thanks. Congratulations. That's great. Fantastic. Okay. Nikki Mumfield. Uh, thank you very much for the super chat. This is an interesting one about an authorized user. My score dropped due to high usage. Uh, I was an authorized user. I took myself off the card while my points come back. Okay. So with the authorized user, if you're put on as an authorized user from somebody else, let's say you're over here, friends or family or someone, right, that you know, uh, puts you on as an authorized user. That card, that credit card that they put you on, if it's a good, nice, Healthy credit card, nice credit utilization. Maybe the credit utilization isn't used at all or very little. Uh, nice big line of credit. History on there. It's a good positive score, right? It's going to come over to you. It's going to bring you up a little bit. It's going to help in the aggregate of your credit, right? So it looks like a nice new line of credit for you. Now, what happened to Nikki is that individual over here started using their credit, started charging it up, and so it looks like Nikki. Ah, okay. Stay in focus does have um, a question here from Super Chat. Thank you very much. I have two dismissed bankruptcies. Two dismissed bankruptcies. Okay. We have special letters for dismissed bankruptcies. They're very um, unique because it's one of the few things that goes onto a credit port or can or does, or sometimes gets onto a credit port and that is considered uh, no longer existent in the eyes of the law, right? So it's not like oh, well, uh, there's a collector on there and they dismissed it as a collection. It's no longer a collection, but we're going to leave it on here, right? How can a bankruptcy that's been dismissed, that's no longer a bankruptcy, that's not um, in the eyes of the law considered a bankruptcy, be on your credit reports? Mm -hmm. So we have very special letters for that. And um, bring this up here. So you can get this negative junk out of there, okay? Great. Okay. The law is very clear and states from date of adjudication or date of order of relief. Okay. These things in a dismissed, right, bankruptcy no longer exist in the eyes of the law. Okay. This case may never have actually been adjudicated. You have no right to maintain information which the government deems non-existent. It's very, 
very clear, all right, in accordance with Section 1681, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, that you delete this from my credit report and send me an updated credit file, okay? Now, this is the type of stuff that you can do. 609credipair.com. We can do the work for you at theawesomelifegroup.com. Please give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe, try button. Hit the bell for notifications. All right, appreciate it. Nikki, will there be a replay? Yes, you'll be able to watch this. Perhaps you're watching this on the replay right now. And if you are watching on the replay right now, I appreciate it. Please give a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe, try button. Francisco's with, uh, yeah, you can, theawesomelifegroup.com, all right. Aaron says, hey, I purchased your product to dispute the accounts, but prior to you know, seeing these videos, to get in the letters, to getting into this dispute process. This individual says, Aaron says, uh, prior to that, I spoke to the collectors and uh, attempted to make arrangements. I'm wondering, would this mess up my disputes? Now, on the Fair Debt Collection Practice Act, Fair Credit Reporting Act, you can dispute negative, nasty, erroneous items, okay? You can send your collection validation, you can send your 609s, you can dispute, and they still have to be able to go through the right processes and verify 100% per the Fair Credit Reporting Act for Debt Collection Practice Act and have proof, substantial proof. They have to be able to do that. Just because somebody knows you or not tried to, quote unquote, make arrangements doesn't mean you can't still dispute and get that negative stuff out of there, okay? I'm looking back, I'm trying to see. All right. Kate, okay, so I've seen two. Can you answer my question, Kate? Can you? So I'm looking at Kate, Kate. I'm still looking back, Kate. I'm still trying to see. And again, I apologize. I try to look at the questions and try and do these, and I miss something so okay okay great okay thanks Kate I see what you're saying okay Kate um, thank you right apologize sometimes it's hard to see uh, all the questions, and I'll put my email address here again for everyone. Huh, that's interesting. Je Princess Jasmine says, I had duplicate accounts by credit, one, okay? One of them was deleted, and the other they got, it was left there. Why didn't they do both? Okay, why didn't they delete both? Um, they left one. So, duplicate account, unverified account, right? So the duplicate account, so sometimes the bureaus have these two accounts in there. And so they figure, okay, maybe we can get away with just deleting one and then maybe you won't say anything and maybe you're okay about that, okay? Maybe you feel fine. Maybe you won't say nothing, right? They're playing these games. They're trying to mess with people. Remember, the, their customers are the banks and the lenders and that kind of stuff and we're the consumer. They're trying to make their customers always right, right? So they're trying to keep people in a certain bracket so that the lenders can make their 
cut with the interest and they can still lend, but it's still at a higher interest rate, right? They're still trying to make sure, keep people at certain So they're like, oh, okay, well, maybe we'll just, some, some other things they try to do, they'll be like, oh, maybe we'll just close uh, an account and maybe they'll go away and they'll stop disputing. No, keep disputing. These are games. They're playing games. You can file complaints with CFPB. Okay, you can do this. You can get to the other side, okay? White Lamborghini says, I say I've removed collections hard, inquiries, et cetera. I'll boost my score over 100 points with advice. Thanks. How to remove negative closed accounts. Again, you can send your 609 dispute letters, okay? You can send your collection validation letters. You can get these negative, nasty, erroneous collections. Closed accounts as well. You know they're negative, so they're probably charge-offs, collections, negative items like that, all right? 609creditrepair.com. We can do the work with the awesomelifegroup.com. If this video helped you out, this live stream helps you out. Please give a thumbs up. If you're enjoying it, please give a thumbs up. If you're watching the replay, please give a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe try button and the bell for notifications. I love and appreciate you all so very, very much. And until I see you in person, I will see you on the other side. Take care.